the governor of Oyo State start a bike piloting scheme in the state secretariat. The state government of Oyo has started a new bike piloting scheme in the state secretariat and this exercise would be available to both the workers and the visitors. This guy is truly a genius. <laughs> okay. I love that he gave a startup company from Nigeria and not one company from the United Kingdom or United States of America in the name of foreign investment. Nice concept, but do we have bicycle lanes on our roads if it's to be extended? I apologize for not taking you seriously before. Expect another genius idea in respect of Sunday Igbuho's menace. I was privileged to ride this bicycle while I was in the state secretariat on Monday and I am satisfied with this development because apart from the benefit of covering a lot of offices in the secretariat, it, all, it also served as a form of exercise. This is definitely disingenuous. Are you actually joking? So well done, Mr. Governor. Great initiative. And sir, for the safety of bikers, can we please have clearly marked bicycle lanes and also speed limits all around major access of the sectarians for vehicles should be displayed and enforced this just seems so disingenuous like who are you trying to impress this is such a pick me you know choose me i look at me kind of article in my personal opinion it's highly unprofessional i mean it's just you know what it is what it is it's an opinion of somebody and they've actually you know they felt privileged i mean it's a bike come on now and i think that you know, of course, we have to appreciate, yes, you know, in some ways, development is development and some things are just, you know, some things are, you know, not everything is bad. But then will it be effective? It's like we're starting at the result, at the end of the end of the chain rather than the beginning. Like having a bicycle is fine. You have bicycles when you have good roads, when there's proper, you know, police and or road safety you know in in place where there's enforcement of the law where people actually drive like human beings like come on now and people actually adhere to the things on the road so it's like infrastructure is absolutely poor and then we want to then apply apply you know efficient and convenient methods to an infrastructure that doesn't work it's not going to be effective and so it's 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 First of all, it's not genius, okay? It's not, it is absolutely not genius. Fine, he gave it, he, you know, gave it to a company, and yeah. But how do you know that's not his company? And how it may, how do you know he might not try to privatize it, and then obviously get his profit? You see, this is a lack of trust that has, you know, maybe he was right, or maybe you know it was actually a good, uh, a private company. But then the lack of trust of the, and accountability of these politicians just makes it very hard for for us to believe that they're ever doing anything genuine for the right for the work of the people or for the interest of the people yeah so i just find it highly disingenuous because it's not ugh, please i mean let's not pretend again i think that it's for the state secretariat it's not necessarily a public good so again it's not like as if it's for the public you know it's not and again again it's like bus lanes how would this work it it would not work I mean, I think there was a picture, yeah. I think a video, yes, a video of, you know, the, the, the actual governor on the bike and everyone was literally, was like amazed and well, they were like, wow, you know, this is so amazing. Uh, 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 president or, uh, our governor is on a bike. Wow. We're so, we're so forward. Like, come on now. Come on. We literally give <laughs> We give them more credit than they deserve, to be very honest, because it's, it's, yeah, it doesn't, nah, it's not effective at all. And it's embarrassing because it's like, this is what we've come to. First of all, it's not a public good. This is only exclusive to the sectariat and whoever is in there at the time. So it's like, it's an exclusive good. It's not a public good. And now this is genius because it promotes exercise. Are you actually joking? Come on now. Come on. I mean, of all things, and that's the thing, the bar has been so low that we're now satisfied. We're satisfied with the bare minimum. And then this bare minimum, because, you know, we've never had an experience like this, it will always be in our heads. And so even like 10 years after the bare minimum was achieved, we will still remember it as something iconic. Why? Because we're so used to hardship, suffering, and our lack of exposure does not actually 
prompt us to think that you know what maybe you know we're actually better than this and we don't deserve to be insulted like this come on now come on you are telling embarrassing embarrassing i mean what 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 else a great initiative like how <laughs> says the, the person says this guy is truly a genius a genius i love that he gave a startup company from nigeria well how can we prove you know the startup company is actually a, a private own you know that has nothing to do with him see that's the thing that is the problem nice concept but we have do we have bicycle lanes on our roads see that's we're starting from like we're trying to start with the end result when the the groundwork has not been done the groundwork has not been achieved it's not going to be that easy doesn't make sense for you to go get a plane and you don't have an airport does that does that does that make sense or you don't have a place for landing you're just making a plane because you want to make it there are other things you have to take into account. So, yeah, I think this just highlights how we've, we've been given the bare minimum and, you know, we've been told to appreciate the bare minimum. Why? Because we're in a society that our mentality is, has been shaped from a young age to, to think or to, to, to live in a society where suffering and hardship is seen as normal, especially suffering and hardship where it can be changed, where it's not it's not out of the control of the people to actually change that's it that is it and i think he continues and says expecting another genius idea in respect of sunday igboho's menace what does that mean like what does that mean like it, uh, it is actually so so sad it is so so sad and i think that we need to hold i mean honestly if we wanted to make anything of this we would just carry this matter to the governor and be like can you try to you know fix the roads first of all have a whole highway code and code of driving in the in the states can they actually be driving tests can the road safety you know security officers can they actually implement and not ask for bribes can they be paid properly there's just so much that needs to be done and to be honest it doesn't take much because we have the skills we have the resources we do but then if it's to make policies that will in forever keep generations to come or generations of Nigerians to come indebted forever, then, you know, they'd, they'd be so quick to do that because they're so greedy. Absolutely sad. Put what you think about this um, in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe.